Then we'll soak it up. I, I, want, I, I want us to go to the book of uh, John, Gospel of John, the, uh, the first chapter. Uh, and I still want you to stay over there where we were last week in that 28th chapter of Genesis because we're just kind of adding a little bit more to it. John, John the first chapter. And uh, I want to look at Chapter 43, I'm, I'm sorry, verse 43 down through 51. John chapter 1, verse 43 through 51. And I, I, I'm, I'm with the, I, I grab my my Thompson Chain Bible, I'm going to preach out of it. It's, it's an NIV, so I'll be reading from this NIV. Amen. And I'm turning over to uh, Genesis 28, and I'm still at that King James. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> the next day Jesus decided to leave Galilee. Finding Philip, he said to him, follow me. Philip, like Andrew and Peter, was from the town of Bethsaida. Philip found Nathanael and told him, We have found the one Moses wrote about in the law, and about whom the prophets also wrote, Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. Nazareth? Can anything good come from there? Nathaniel asked. Come and see, said Philip. When Jesus saw Nathaniel approaching him, he said of him, Here is a true Israelite in whom there is nothing false. How do you know me? Nathaniel asked. Jesus answered, I saw you while you were still under the fig tree before Philip called you. Then Nathanael declared, Rabbi, you are the son of God. You are the king of Israel. Jesus said, you believe because I told you I saw you under the fig tree? You shall see greater things than that. He then added, I tell you the truth. You shall see angels. Let me say, let me say it again. I tell you the truth. You shall see heaven open and the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. I, I remember reading this, and on an index card before I went to bed, I just was reading that, and uh, I had been studying, all week I had been studying Genesis, the 22nd chapter, and I, I thought that was where God was wanting me to go. Uh, dealing with Abraham sacrificing uh, his son Isaac and, and just late, actually really I would say late Friday evening, early Saturday morning before going to bed, I realized God would have me study that for me and, 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 and this is what I started be looking at and I just remember the only thing I wrote down that night was uh, Jesus is the latter. Amen. Amen? Right. I wrote that on a card, and then I got up, got up yesterday and started studying it. And, and that's what we want to talk about, you know, uh, 
we, 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 Jesus referred to this, and I referred to this when I was preaching last week from Genesis 28 on, on, on unnecessary misery. And if you remember, we talked last week about Joseph who experienced unnecessary misery uh, because he chose to try to help God do what God already said he was going to do. And he didn't have the faith to trust God to do what he said, he and his mother. And, and he chose to, and we, we, need, we, need, we need children here today to hear, hear this. We need to teach them these things, these principles in vacation Bible school and so forth. He chose to lie to his daddy. Amen. To trick his daddy out of a blessing that his daddy was going to give him already because God had told both of them that there was a war going in his mama. Amen. Because she had twins. And if you recall, uh, 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 the younger would be over the older, which is the reverse of the normal way the blessing was. So they knew before they came that the younger was going to get the blessing. Amen? Amen. Now, now we, they couldn't understand how it was going to happen because normally the older did it. But once God tells you something, you just do it. We need to teach our children that. You don't have to lie to get nothing. And, 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 and when, when, when he lied to his daddy to try to, after they were out and, and, and up, to steal the blessing, uh, 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 then he went around God's will trying to do God's will. And, and, and his mother who schemed and told him to go trick his daddy and make it look like it was his older brother Esau, and, and so he'll bless you and steal the blessing. God had already, again, we saw that last week, had just told her, the younger will be over the older. He will get the blessing. So when God tells us, and maybe that's why he didn't let me, maybe that's why he didn't let me uh, uh, get that, the one he, that I was working on. Maybe he meant for me to tie these together because they do go together. Because that's what Jesus is talking about. Jesus is saying over oh, here, I'll go there now real quick. We saw the ladders, you know, when he running, you remember? And we saw he, him laying there at Bethel uh, because Esau going to kill him. And, and, and he laid his head on a, on a pillow, amen, a stone, amen. It's tough when you got to sleep on a, on a pillow, and your, a, a pillow of, of, of stone, amen, or lay in a bed of stone or lay on the ground because we're running out of the will of God. We're running away from the will of God, amen. And we pointed out the fact that his mother who schemed for him to get the blessing would never see him again because in running, he spent 20 years down at Uncle Laban's house, amen, trying to get what God already had for him. Amen? And, and, and so many of us are doing that. We're running from what God already have because we have chosen to go another route, amen, other than the route of faith because we sometimes can't see faith. And you can't see faith because faith is the substance of what we're hoping for and the evidence of what we don't see. Now, let me hurry up now. Amen? Amen. Okay? And, 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 and the principle is still there. And, 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 and we've been talking all year about God uh, uh, preparing us. Amen? Uh, for our destiny. And in preparing us, we, we, we're going to have some struggles. Amen? You, you can't, you can't, you know, for, 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 for me, when I tell you that when I had the heart thing and, and I had to build my heart up, I have, I have to go down there and I, I work out to go from 21% pumping to 52 pumping. Amen. You got to, you got to work to, 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 for the blessing. Amen. The blessing just don't come. And that's what God was showing me. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of jumping over into that thing with uh, uh, Abraham. And he, I realized God was doing that for me. I thought it was for y'all, but he was showing me something with Abraham, you know, and, 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 and it's the same principle. He was just showing, showing me that Abraham, you know, uh, 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 when he was about to sacrifice his son, his son was grown 
and 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 and, and that 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 uh, twenty second chapter starts by by saying after these things God told him to sacrifice his son. And I looked there, uh, uh, and, and I said, after what? And I realized God was talking about after He told him fifty years before to leave Haran, his father, and all of them. After those things and all the rest of the things that had happened for 50 years, he was now ready for him to do the ultimate in his preparation to go to another level and get his name changed and his wife's name changed. Amen. And that was to, to sacrifice his son. Amen. Who, who God is against sacrifice. Although the people around them was in, into sacrifices. Stay with me now. I didn't mean to go here, but he, he let me go here. Amen. And, 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 and so God had told him, so go sacrifice your son. Amen. Your only son. Amen. Uh, 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 when I started a few weeks ago, I was saying that that Ishmael, the son from Haggai, the, the, the black woman, amen, God didn't count her and him because they were of the flesh. But God showed me, he said, no, that wasn't it, amen. I still counted him because if you recall, God showed me, I gave him his 12 sons, amen. I promised Moses that I was going to bless them. Amen. And you, he said, if you recall, the 12 sons, amen, make up today the whole Arab world, amen, and they have all the oil. So I did bless them. So God said, I wasn't talking about, I didn't recognize them because I will recognize your mistakes, amen, if a part of that is a part, if, if that's a part of your destiny, amen, it, it, it's a part of building you. You didn't have to go there, but since you went there, amen, it's part of the preparation, amen. And in the preparation, there are a lot of mountains and valleys that you're going to climb and go through. Amen. And I said, Lord, are you, you, you speaking to me? He said, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Say it ain't over. Right. And he said, I ain't through. He said, he said, all those things with Moses, he said, he going down, he going down there denying his wife was his wife because he was scared. Yeah. I understand that. Amen. He said, because y'all going to do some of that stuff. Amen. But I didn't throw him away. Amen. Just like this boy in the 28th chapter, Isaac. Amen. 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 That, 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 that's running. Amen. I, I, I'm not going to, I, I mean, Jacob, I'm not going to throw him away. Amen. But he didn't have to go here, but it's still part of the preparation. Yeah. Amen. He didn't have to, he didn't have to go through 21 years if he would have listened to me. Amen. But I still love him. Amen. Amen. He's a scoundrel, but I love him. Amen. And I'm going to bless him. Amen. And, and, and that's what it showed me. That's what it showed me with, uh, 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 with, with Abraham. Amen. I had told him and his wife they were going to have a child, but no. Fix it now. Fix it. Amen. They couldn't see it. That's why, that's why we keep begging folk to tithe. Folk run around broke. Amen. It won't tithe. No. They can't see it. So they're going to stay broke and begging. Praise Amen. Amen. We, we, we can't see it. And, and that's what God said. He said, so, so I'm preparing him. Amen. Amen. And it was 50 years. Well. Amen. Before, you know, uh, 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 we, we, before the, he was ready to the ultimate test. Amen. And after the ultimate test, God's getting ready to change his name and change his destination. Oh, yeah. Amen. It's preparation. So you're going through some stuff now and you're saying, well, there's so much is behind me. Amen. There ain't no way uh, uh, I'm going to do much uh, uh, with what's left of me. And God is saying, I'm preparing you. For your destiny, you were born for something. Nobody was born to be nothing. Nobody was born to be failures. But we will not. We will ignore God, and we can't. He, he can't. He can't take us to our destination. There is a destination. There is a point. Amen. That God is trying to take us to. Amen. 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 And, and you can't hurry God. That's a song. Say you can't hurry God. Amen. 
they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They will mount up with wings of eagles and run and not be weary. Amen? Amen. Glory to God. Woo! Uh-huh. Take my sermon, devil. I can God, let me preach anyway. Uh-huh. Amen. So, 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 so this boy, this, this boy, amen, is going through unnecessary misery. Amen. And so he sees the angels ascending and descending. Oh, my God. Let, 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 let me give a little bit more. Let me give you a little bit more from, from, from last week anyway. Amen. <laughs> We're going to go over here. Amen. Because I'm telling you now, we saw the ladders last week. And we saw the angels ascending and descending. We saw you, Jesus was at the top, Jesus was at the bottom. Amen. They were, they were ascending up. Amen. Not down. Amen. They started down. Amen. Where we are to go up and then bring more down. Amen. And Jesus was at the top and the bottom. But in the New Testament, there ain't no ladder. Oh, well. He is the ladder. Yes, Woo, glory to God. Amen. Let me just, let me just go to that 50, 51st verse anyway in John. Amen. And then I'll go backwards and fill in. Amen. He then added, I tell you the truth. <clears throat> you shall see heaven open. And the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. Amen. Amen. He didn't say nothing about a ladder. Because what he's saying is, I'm the ladder. Amen. The blessings going to come from heaven. Down from earth up, they're going up and down on me yes, because I'm the ladder. Yes, Your healing is coming down yes, from me. Yes, I'm the ladder. Yes, Amen. Your health is coming from me. I'm the ladder. Your blessing is coming from me. I'm the ladder. Your deliverance is coming from me. I'm the ladder. I'm the son of man. The son of God became the son of man. Amen, somebody. And I became your ladder. My God, I can sit down on that. That's why I need to close. Amen? Amen. Now watch, watch in the midst of Jacob running back in that Genesis 28. In the midst of him running, when he laying down there and, 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 and that pillow, amen, was it, that, that, that stone was his pillow. He anointed the stone, amen, although it was hard. And God, the first thing he said, he said, listen, he said, go, go back there, y'all, that Genesis. I told you to do Genesis 20, 28 also. Yes, sir. Amen. Run about that, run about that, run about that 15th verse. Uh, he said, behold, I am with thee at the very, down to the end, and, and, and will keep thee in all places whither thou goest. He said, you're going down there in a mess, but I'm with you. You didn't have to go down here to your crooked uncle. Amen. Amen. But, but that's good, he said, because cause, cause both of y'all crooks need to be together. So y'all go, y'all will crook each other, and then after a while you're going to find out crooking won't get it for you. <laughs> crooking won't get it for you. Amen. It's faith in me that's going to get it for you. But go on down there and find out. Amen. So many young folk have to go. Y'all you, you know that. We've dealt with our children and our grandchildren. And you watch them make the same dumb mistakes, some of them that we made. And you try to tell them so they don't make it. And they go on down the same road. The same road. The same stupid mistakes. Amen. Yes, Amen. Been hearing us tell them, you know, here, going to church hearing it and make the same mistakes. Don't have to do it. Amen. Watch what he said. <coughs> I will keep thee in all places whither thou goest. What's he promising? My presence will go with you. Amen. Amen. Lo, I'm with you always. Even when you're messing up, I'm with you. Amen. I'm going to be there. Wherever you are now, if you're a child of God, he's with you. He may not be approving it, but he's with you. Amen. No, I'm with you always, even to the end of the age. <coughs> the, the, the King James said the end of the world, but the proper, the proper rendering is the end of the age. Because it's the end of the church age. No such thing as the end of the world. We know that. God's going to come back and refurbish the earth and we're going to live here forever in a perfect earth. Amen. amen. All right. I can't go there. Amen. And the second thing he said, he said, and not only am, am, I, am, I, am, I going, am I with you, I will keep thee in all places whither thou goest. 
So he says, not only am I going to be, you have my presence, you will have my protection. Amen. 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 Even in the midst of all you're doing. Amen. Have you, have you ever seen that? Amen. I, I, I remember years ago, uh, I was sitting home at, at my house uh, way back there on Ratcliffe. And, 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 and I, so for some reason, Terry Jr., I've told the story before, Terry Jr. was on my mind. And my son Eric came in late that night. I ran to the door. I thought it was Terry. It wasn't him. Well, you know, Terry had hit a post. Y'all remember on Salem. He hit it so hard, <coughs> a boxer tied in the trunk of the car exploded. Terry got out the car and walked over to the hospital. You know, he was on my mind. Amen. And I was praying. You know, I was covering him with prayer. Amen. 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 And then y'all remember, uh, after that he went down in Cuba in the Marines. A jeep turns over on him. You know, every day I pray for my children. Uh, Elijah and Z, I pray for them now. Every night when I go, go to bed, whenever Elijah leaves the house now, in a car from, I always cover him with prayer. You remember when Sue was driving and, and she got broadsided. Yeah. Amen? In that Lexus <clears throat> and broke her leg. Y'all remember I told you when she left the house that day, I was praying. Because she left the house in a rush. Amen? And that car hit her, broke her leg, broadside her. And we had the picture of her with the broke leg. Amen? And then we had the picture two weeks ago with her walking across the stage because God had put the leg back together. And, and, and Dr. Powell, the, the, the surgeon, couldn't, saw, the, saw the break but couldn't find it in her. Amen? Amen. So, so what I'm saying is, I, I, I know about God. Amen? Amen. <clears throat> covering us even in the midst of trouble. So he said, you got my protection. <coughs> you got, excuse me, Lord, I told you this, this thing got me. Amen. Amen. You got, you got my, you got my presence. You got my protection, he said. Amen. And I will bring thee again to this land. He said, you're leaving Bethel, the house of God. But I'm going to bring you back here. And we know he came back, I believe, I believe it was around, what was it, the 35th chapter? I think it was, we're not going there. He came back after those 20 years. <coughs> back to where he left. Yes. Amen. Blessed. But he didn't have to waste those 20, those 20 years. He had two wives, two concubines, and 12 children. Well. Amen? Amen. God had blessed him with a nation. Yes, he did. Out of those 12 children, amen, two of those children, amen, was Judah and Levi. Yep. They were born, for, born, they were born to Leah. Teach the one he didn't want to marry. The one he was tricked into marrying. The one the Bible said had the funny eyes. The one he thought he had beautiful uh, 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 Rebecca, amen, and woke up that day and Laban had tricked him and he looked at Leah who had the cross eyes, amen, but she was a, a, a baby making machine. Rachel, his love, could have no babies. Oh God, as the world turned in the Bible, you don't have to go to TV, get as the world turned, Amen. And, when, when, and then, then that concubines, amen, start having babies. Amen? Then finally, way down, God blessed Rachel. Amen? But still, Leah had the special kids because Levi was who the priest came from yes, and Judah was who Jesus came from. Yes. Oh, Solomon did this, sit up. That makes you want to preach in tongues. Amen, somebody? I'm talking about how God can take our misery and make it a blessing, but it didn't have to be that way. Yes. Let me sit down now. Yes. Woo! That, didn't that show the devil something? Amen. Yes. That's my sermon. God just say, I got something else for you. Y'all getting this here? Yes. Y'all getting this? Yes. And, 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 so, and so we saw after 20 years, he comes back. Now we're way more family than he needs to have had. And also come back in a marriage situation that don't ever work. 
God never meant for marriage to be a polygamous situation. Y'all know poly, many, amen, that's more than one marriage, mono, one, he meant for marriage to be monogamous, amen. Even, even Abraham messed up when Sarah told the black woman Hagar, her servant from Egypt, to have a baby because she couldn't. God had told her she was going to have one. Amen. If God tell you you're going to have it, you're going to have it. Now don't you go around talking about I want it. Amen. He tell you you heal, you heal. He tell you, you're blessed, you're blessed. Amen. 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 He tell you, with long life, will I satisfy you? Amen. I don't care what's happening. Every day, get them said satisfied. Yes, sir. Amen. Every day, get them said satisfied. Amen. I don't care what's coming your way. Say satisfied. Yes, tell the devil I'm satisfied. Yes, tell the doctors I'm satisfied. Yes, Amen. Amen. Yes, Amen. When I was laying there with the drill a hole in my head, I left that said I had it. I couldn't move. I just had to lay like this. Amen. For 24 hours, I told them. They said. We, we'll cut the TV on. I told you what I told you. I said, put love songs on. I said, you got a channel to just play love songs? That way I can just lay here with my wife. With my wife. I do that at home now. I do that in the car. I still drive around coding her. That's what I had on yesterday. All the while I was working. Real old music. I said, I said, baby, I want you to spend time with me. Not yesterday, but Saturday. Amen. And that's what I did. I laid there. Amen. 24 hours just coding my wife. Amen. Love songs. Amen. Somebody satisfied. Amen. I don't care what the devil is throwing at you. When you learn to get up and say satisfied. Amen. I'm not talking about, I'm not talking about just, just uh, something you get here at church and then you go home. You go back to the same old you. I don't care what's happening. I may not be satisfied with what's happening, but I'm satisfied. Amen. I mean, what's happening is will not determine my destiny. Amen. God determines my destiny. Amen. So whatever the devil throw at me or life throw, you can still say satisfied. Yes, Amen. Amen. Whoo, God, I feel like preaching this thing. Amen. I love it when I, you know, I just didn't have no paper to fool around with. Amen. I love it when God just, just feeds me. Amen. Satisfied. Glory to God. And so, that, and so, and so, Jesus, Jesus brings us over here. I got to sit down now. I'm just introducing this thing. <laughs> Whoo! Glory to God. Amen. Amen. So here Jesus is. Amen. He's bringing the, 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 the New Testament version of the latter. And, and he's, he's choosing his disciples. Amen. And, 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 and he comes to get Philip's. Amen. 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 And, and, and he said, Philip, I want you to follow me. Amen. And, 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 and Philip, like Andrew and, 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 and Peter, they were from Bethsaida. So, Bethsaida. so Philip found Nathaniel and told him, we found the one Moses wrote about. Moses wrote the first five books of the Bible. So that's what he's talking about. Amen. He said, we found the one that Moses wrote about. And, and the prophets, amen. Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. Well, when he said Nazareth, uh, Nathaniel knew the Bible. Nathaniel knew he wasn't supposed to be born in Nazareth. He said, Nazareth? Well, where? Ooh. <laughs> Ain't nothing to come out of Nazareth. <laughs> I mean, that's putting Nazareth down kind of bad. Amen. Ain't nothing ever come out of there. Amen. Yeah, yeah well, well, you know, no matter where you came from, who your mama was, who your daddy was, amen, their folk will say, ooh, ain't nothing come out of there. God can take nothing out of anywhere and make it everything. Amen. 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 In these almost 88 years I've lived, I have learned that. Amen. amen. God can take nothing. Yes. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Glory to God. Yes. Amen. You're looking at a guy who's supposed to have lost everything and the preacher said, Hill is dead. That was seven years after we started preaching. Teach. Praise the Lord. Teach. Teach. Now here's the senior guy in town. Amen. Amen. God is God, y'all. And Nathaniel, Nathaniel knew him. That's why he said, Nazareth, ain't nothing come out of there. Philip said, well, I'll tell you what, come and see. You're doing all that talking, come and see. When Jesus saw Nathaniel approaching him, he said, here is a true Israelite. Yes. 
No, 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 I'm, I'm going to I'm going to stop y'all. But you know, you know where Israel came from. Jacob's name got changed to Israel. The one we've been through all this talking about. Amen. Amen. After all that stuff that happened to him, and when he come back for them 21 years, and, and we know how he wrestled with the angel. Yes. And he finally realized it ain't about me. Well. Took him all that time to, to wrestle with that angel. He said, it ain't about me. He ain't about me. It ain't about me. He said, and he wrestled like we're doing. We're wrestling in our strength. We're wrestling with stuff. We're wrestling with stuff. We're wrestling with our problems. We're wrestling with our children. We're wrestling with our mates. We're wrestling with our help. It ain't about me. Amen? Amen? And when he stopped wrestling, then he started just holding on. He said, I ain't going to let go till you bless me. God said, now you're, now you're getting it. Amen? Amen. It ain't about me. Yes, sir. It's about God. Yes. Amen. Amen. It ain't about the doctor. Amen. Because the doctor, God is using the doctor. I'm not telling you don't go to the doctor, but I'm saying God is using the doctor. Amen. Yes, Amen. And when he finally said, I, 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 I don't have no more strength, Lord. I don't have nothing else. It ain't about me. But I ain't going to let go. I ain't going to let go. I ain't going to let go. I can't do nothing. I can't wrestle with you. I can't do nothing else, but I'm going to hold on to you. I've been holding on to my job. I've been holding on to my politics. I've been holding on to my mate. I've been holding on to my children. I've been holding on to, 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 to what I drink and what I smoke. I've been holding on to all that. But Lord, all I'm doing now, oh my son, all I'm doing is I'm just holding on to you. And I ain't going to let go. I ain't going to let go. I ain't going to let go. I ain't going to let go till you bless me. Because I know what you promised me. You promised to never leave me. I know what you promised me. You said, no, I'm with you always. I know what you promised me. You said, you'll wipe all tears from my eyes. I know what you promised me. And I'm going to hold on. I ain't going to let go. Because all things work together for good to them that love you. Everything ain't good, but it's working together. And I know whatever I'm dealing with, you're working it out. Oh my God, I feel like preaching today. He said, here's a true Israelite in whom there is nothing false. Now, Gail, this other, this boy, this other Jacob had a other gal in him. But he said, this joke, this boy, Jesus said, this is a real Israelite. Yes, sir. Amen? Mm -hmm. This is a real one here. Ain't nothing false. God is looking for some real folk. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. With no gal. Your, your Bible said no gal. That's no false. Amen? Yes. No fake. Amen? Yes. He's looking for some real folk that want to serve him. I'm getting ready to sit down now. Whew. My God. Amen. How do you know me? Nathan asked Jesus. He said, how do you know me? Jesus said, I saw you while you were still under the fig tree before Philip called you. He said, I saw you before Philip called you. <laughs> Wait a minute. Philip just called me and told me to come serve you. He said, yeah, but I saw you before then. Yes, sir. Amen. Before you called, he said, I'll answer. I saw you before you called, but I'm still waiting on you to call because I said call on me and I'll answer and I'll show you great and mighty things which you didn't even know. Call on me in your day of trouble. I'll deliver you and you'll glorify me. Call on me. Call on me. I'm there. I'm listening. You don't need a ladder for your blessings. I'm your ladder. Give God a hand clap of praise today. And then he said to him, you're going to see greater things. Amen. He told him that. You're going to see greater things. And in John 14, Jesus said to us, the church, you'll see greater things. 
Amen. Greater works. Greater works. Jesus said, stuff I did, you will, he told the church that, you will see greater works. Why? Because I go to the Father. Amen. I'm your ladder in heaven. Amen. I'm your ladder down here. All you got to do is trust me. Let's stand. Bow our heads. Father, we thank you for your word today. It's a lamp, it's a light to our pathways. We ask you to bless these thy people. Bless this faithful few that just keep on coming, keep on believing, keep on trusting. Let us surrender our lives to you. Surrender our time, surrender our talent, surrender our testimony, surrender our family, surrender, surrender our problems, surrender our situations. And let us walk by faith and not by sight. Yes. No matter what has happened in our lives up to now, let us know the best is yet to come. Yes. Let us know you love us. Let us know you made every you knew every mistake we would make before we were born. Mm. Mm. And yet you loved us so much. You birthed us anyway. And you knew every mistake, I'll say it again, that we were going to make. But you loved us and you came and died for us. And gave us your righteousness. That we stand before your Father in your blood, washed in it, not in it, but washed in it. And you go and take our prayers to your Father as our representative. We love you, Lord. But we can't love you like you love us. Yes. Creating us clean heart. Creating us a clean heart. And renew the right spirit within us. Bless us this day forward in a special way. Let us walk. And let us not just hear it today, but let us every day make a habit of letting us, the devil, know and letting ourselves know I'm satisfied. I'm satisfied. I may not be satisfied with where I am, but I'm satisfied with where I'm going. And I don't even know where you're taking me, Lord, but I know you won't take me to the wrong place. Bless us now. That person in here that's, that's near as hell, if there's one, that don't know you as their Savior, let them come today and say, I yield. That person in here that's had something blocking them. That person that, that hasn't told the truth. That person that's walking in lies. That person that's walking in deception. Let them get some things straight with folks. Let children know. To be honest with their parents. Be honest with their teachers. Be honest in their walk. And watch what you're going to do in their lives. Bless our city. Bless our nation. In the mighty name of Jesus we pray. Bless the sick. Bless those who are shut in. Thus, let healing move in this church, dear Lord. Let healing, let shackles be fallen. Let folk begin to look up and lift up their heads to the hills from whence come their help. Knowing their help come from the Lord. We bless today in the name of Jesus. We loose bounds, we loose chains, we loose healing. Bless, O oh God, in the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Amen. I love the Lord, he heard my cry. Is that somebody today? Trinity to ever grown. I love oh, the Lord. Woo. He heard. Let me hear you say it louder than that. And peace. one today. Long as I live. Jacob's response was surely the Lord was in this place. That's what he said. And I was not aware of it. He's here church. He is here church.
He is here right now. Surely the Lord is in this place. I was not aware of it. Become aware. And when you realize that, he's saying, how awesome is this place. Invite God in. All around you will be awesome. God bless you. Just keep standing, Lord. We get ready to leave from here now for the benediction. That's true. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Hey, son, too. Say that again. Hey, One more time. Hey, son, too. Now may the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit abide with each of you. In the name of Jesus, amen. And God bless you and I love you.